This is a team, this is a team that has worked justice this week and most importantly, loves Mercy. I think they love Mercy a lot more than they did before they first arrived. In working justice, in loving Mercy, they have walked humbly with their God. This is your EBC 19 team. Some say don't give up and hope that your good is good enough. Head down, keep on working. If you can earn it, you deserve it. Some say push on through. After all, it's the least that you can do. But don't buy what they're selling. It couldn't be further from the truth. news Emma. and so this is an incredible opportunity for you to come and change the world and you know what's really cool you may be the one that leads someone to Christ to go to heaven and be with us forever and in blessing uh, these refugees who have been uh, persecuted who have fled wars you guys have been such an encouragement to our team God sent you guys here to help us so we thank God for your ministry and I, I encourage you to continue with this uh, people are asking when are you coming back again and uh, we'll see uh, your, the fruits of your work by prayer we are waiting in Jesus name thank you Well, BBC 19, where do I start? Everyone who's gone, I know their lives have been impacted. I was part of the EBC 19 mission trip to Clarkston, Georgia this summer. EBC 19 definitely has brought me closer to Jesus and in, in my relationship with Him. For me, it was a, just a, a great trip and I just learned so much. And what happens is when you come back here to our church. It was the best experience I've ever had in my entire life. It impacts us here as well because we see a purpose. I think when you're around people and you can talk to people and you can help to lead people, I think that it's rewarding. We see a reason for the gospel. It was great. It was all great the way it worked out. All the pieces fit together. This year, my trip to Georgia was a really great experience. I definitely learned a lot more about Jesus. We see a reason for lives to need to be changed. We do mission trips to like find God in ourselves. But this time, I felt like it was a mission trip where I helped other people find God for them, which I've never been on before or I've never experienced. And that just strengthens our church as a whole. We really got to know each other during the week. The highlight of EBC 19 for me would definitely be building and creating relationships with um, the other people in my church. And how we could share with each other our prayer requests and just about our lives. I appreciate that Bruce and I were able to take this trip together. What I didn't expect was the evangelical outreach that I was driven toward by virtue of the team around me. Most of the people that I knew were the youth. In my other mission trips, people kind of broke into groups. I'm like, okay. And it's kind of cool that I now know some more people, like deepen my relationships with them. But it actually ended up, we all ended up meshing really well. They were all like super nice. We all had a lot of fun and just really enjoyed each other's company. This was a nice opportunity for us to work alongside each other. Maybe went outside our comfort zones in some areas. And serve God together. And I appreciate having the opportunity to serve. We were there as one um, serving God. Uh, you can see God working in the lives of the refugees, the hope, the joy that they have. It was really the meshing of the personalities of our team that we filled in all the blanks, I thought, of what our purpose was there. Just by developing relationships with us is something that you really can't put into words. It was so much to take in and, and so many eye-opening moments that joy will transfer to you. A lot of our team members were drawn to the kids and the kids to them. There are so many kids there who just want to be loved and to be like loved on and played with and... We'd go outside and there'd just be like crowds of children like ready to like for us to go hang out with them and just to love on them. 
It was great to be able to go back and see all of the kids again. Uh, my favorite part was the kids, definitely. To be able to continue developing the relationship that I had started last summer when I went. I had a strong connection with two of the little girls there. There, everywhere you turn, there's just another kid that wants to play with you. And it... they wrote, they would love me and miss me in my, in my little book and drew me pictures. It means a lot to them that you are showing them attention and love. I felt called to be on the first mission team. Didn't work out. I, I felt the call last year to go, but I hesitated. 18 months later, I'm a last minute replacement on the second team. But I'm so thankful that I had the opportunity to take that trip this year. Now I know understanding God's call and God's timing can be two different things. I was able to see the world beyond myself. cultures I would normally never touch. And here they are, all in one little community. And we got to reach them and work with them and talk with them, which was really special. We had an opportunity to knock door to door. Some doors were answered. It was definitely a cool experience of going on the prayer walks, being able to share like our, like our short testimonies with the refugees there. One little blessing that I had, I saw a cat running down the grass and so I went over to see it and pet it. I met the lady who lived at that apartment. We had language barriers but we were able to either communicate through the children or maybe another adult that was in the house. We got to uh, invite people to come to the eye clinic and we hadn't got to work with that last year so that was uh, another opportunity that we had. And I've continued to be in contact with a 20 year old we first met in, on a playground exchanging elements of our life and building a friendship and hopefully trust. By the end of our visit, she had brought out her husband and her son and her daughter and we were all able to share. And I was able to tell them how they could experience Christ's love. I've seen God work through many people throughout the trip. One of the things that stood out most to me was I met this little girl and we sort of, our relationship kind of grew throughout the week and then the last, or the second to last night, she was like, I have a present for you. I'm at the point now where I'm about to communicate the saving message of Jesus Christ to him and praying for that to be successful. I know it will take a while, but with perseverance, I hope this will be the plan for him and his life and for his families. And then she runs inside and hands me a little book from the Bible, which was Deuteronomy in her native language. So I thought that was really cool to kind of see how God has reached that family. There were times where we asked if they wanted us to pray for anything, and I saw God pushing me out of my comfort zone to pray for these people, and the other team members also prayed. I just felt God working through me. Like, I guess that was my God experience, having Him be like, hey, you know, this isn't really for you this time, this is for other people. So the trip really for me was an unexpected blessing. And I would definitely go again, and I think other people should go again. I definitely want to be a part of EBC 20. And seeing how grateful everyone there, like the children and all the refugees, being so happy and grateful for what we did, it was really, really neat. And I encourage you, you know, if you are thinking about coming out, God will really use you and you'll grow a lot. Here back home, there are communities all around us in need and they need Jesus. And again, it was just so awesome for me to see how God had worked just in the space of one year and answered so many prayers. So the bottom line is people need Jesus Christ. They need to hear the gospel so that their lives can be changed in a great and mighty way. They need people like us to get off our, our seats and move forward and make a move to change lives. Thank you for your prayers and support of our team. Our church let the light of Jesus shine through them in Clarkston, Georgia. It's a goal here at EBC to let your light shine to the world to glorify our Father in heaven. Is God calling you to that same goal? Join us to shine the light of Jesus to the people of the world. Thank you.